Hi everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you how to cook mom's holiday turkey gravy. Now, I have in a jar ready for later, I have one cup of flour mixed with the rest of water. Actually tonight I used some ham stock because I have some left. But use water, you can use whatever kind of stock you like. Um, and you're just going to shake it up and just leave it for later, okay? In my turkey I had gizzards and I boiled them up for about 30 minutes with the neck and the innards and I'm going to use the, uh, the broth from it and that's going to go in my gravy as well as the turkey neck. So I'm going to take the turkey neck and remove the meat from that and have it ready as well. And I'm going to chop up about 14 mushrooms, dozen to 14-ish. I have nice beautiful cremini ones today and I'm just going to slice them into nice long slices. That's how mom does it. So. I'm gonna get going on that, you can too. And we're gonna use the drippings from the turkey at the very end. So I have to wait till my turkey's done roasting before I can even get anything going with the gravy. Um, and you wanna be able to move quickly. You don't wanna be preparing this stuff right when you're taking the turkey out. Okay, so you wanna have this all prepared, the mushrooms sliced, the um, broth ready from the gizzards, the neck uh, meat removed from the, tur the turkey neck, and your flour slurry mixture. That's what's gonna thicken up your gravy, is the flour slurry right there. We like a lot of mushrooms, and actually these are gonna reduce down a lot in volume when you put them in there with the drippings, so no need to worry that there's just way too many mushrooms. A lot of that's just water that's gonna come right out. We run out of stuffing and gravy before anything else these days, so I like to make a lot of gravy, and quite a bit of stuffing as much as I can. But the gravy you can store in your refrigerator in a mason jar and it's uh, good to go for next days of leftovers. Okay, my mushrooms are nice and tender and I'm going to pour in my slurry now. And once I bring this back up to a boil, it's going to get to its maximum thickening power. But I'm gonna let that flour cook out for just a couple minutes after it comes to a boil. I had already tasted it to make sure that the seasoning is right. It's salty enough, it has a beautiful color, so I don't even need to put any gravy browning in it. Um, and uh, if you need to re-season it, salt, pepper, that's pretty much all you usually need. If you want a little bit more wine, go ahead and do that too. Now stir that around. Then I always add a little bit more water in that same jar to get the rest of that flour out. Plus it's going to extend your gravy a little bit further as well. So now I'm bringing it back up to a nice boil and I'm going to let that go for a couple of minutes. Alright, this gravy is done. I have about this much in there. I have about that much in there, there's quite a bit, and that's going to be nice for leftovers as well. So this is nice and thickened up, especially now that I've taken it off the heat. I have all those gorgeous mushrooms in there, that beautiful um, Gewürztraminer wine, <sighs> fantastic. We have some great um, drippings from that beautiful turkey, free ranch turkey, gorgeous. So let's put that some in a gravy bowl. Now that's going to be good on the potatoes, on the turkey, on the stuffing. Let me show you a ladle full. It's full of mushrooms. It's nice and glossy. I put about a teaspoon of butter and just um, ran it through at the very end to gloss it up some. I'll just ladle some into your gravy boat. And you'll be doing this a couple times during dinner. That little bit of meat in there, that's so much like my mom to do. And those nice big sliced mushrooms, awesome. So there you have it in a beautiful gravy boat. So there you have it, you put it in a nice gravy boat and you're good to go. So that's how you do it, that's how you cook mom's holiday turkey gravy. You can do it too, all right? You don't have to buy that stuff in the package. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly, YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly, and you can find me syndicated on Roku. Come to my website at CookingWithKimberly.com and subscribe, interact with us, and let us know what's going down in your culinary world, all right? Be a champion in your kitchen. Eat deliciously. Bye.